glass or stick teeth or stick teeth means the fish which have bones uh, in their skeleton uh, the bony skeletons right so osteon is the word which uh, means bone and ichthys we already know as the fish so the all the bony fish which we know that goldfish uh, guppies seahorses uh, lungfish they are all come in this class of stichthys they are the most diverse and the largest group of the fishes present and known to the mankind at the moment and they have a very vast uh, diversity in in their habitat in their feeding mechanism and uh, the main differences in uh, these type of the fish from the earlier group or the class chondrichthys uh, cartilaginous fish is that their mouth is not ventral instead it is terminal so they have the mouth at the front end of their body so they have mouth in in the, in the uh, terminal in the, the front end so they have terminal mouth and their gills are always covered with a flap like structure or which is called osculum okay and then they have a swim bladder right so their swim bladder is always present in this type of the fish the skin in ostichthys is uh, has a many mucus glands which produce mucus and also is covered with the scales which are dermal in origin the jaws are well developed articulated with the skull and armored with the teeth they have two chambered heart no difference in the type of the heart between the both classes uh, and it is the same as the chondrichthys they have separate sexes fertilization is external okay ostichthys ostichthys has two subclasses class actinotrigii and class sarcotrigii actinotrigii is the fish which has the ray fin fish in which the fish fins are not uh, in the form of the appendage or a girdle so this type of the fins which has a wide base okay so these are ray fin fish here you see the fins they are wider they have a ray of the ray of this uh, fins on their body right here you see so they are just like a parallel bones coming out of the body making the fin so these are called the ray fin fish okay so these ones in contrast you see that they they have like uh, appendages they have the joints here right and these fish can be moved just like the limbs in the higher mammals or or uh, the amphibians so they have lobes lobed fin fish okay they have the limb girdles in which joints are the shoulder joints and uh, hip joints are present in these type of the fish All right class actinotrigii are the simplest fish known as goldfish guppies seahorses tuna and uh, other fish we which we can think of the large of the two subclasses uh, the fins are slender in the form of the rays i have already explained their caudal fin is homocircle homo so they are identical their tail fins are identical in size and structure theek hai ji so this is homocircle tails because they don't need extra thrust to lift their body Uh, due to the presence of the uh, swim bladder in their bodies dermal scales are present gill slits are covered with the operculum i have already explained it and the eggs are gelatinous in nature and laid in in the water the subclass sarcotrigii however is little bit different so they are fleshy lobed here in these animals you see these fish they have sort of legs present in their body they are not the rays and they can use swim bladder for, as a lung for breathing they include fossil forms uh, until 1930s they were known as the fossilized fish but then uh, later in uh, in the later half of this this century the few alive specimens were found in indonesia and uh, then we knew that they still exist and uh, they give a good chance to understand the evolution how the fish uh, evolved to the higher mammals and came out of the water you see they they can use their legs to crawl on the surface and they have also got the ability to use their swim bladder to to uh, uh, breathe in in the dry and terrestrial environment some of the members of this family including uh, mud puppies or these uh, lungfish they are known to live on on the coast and can move to some distances uh, along the coast